another day, another business class flight, or two actually today. Please press subscribe to follow my adventures around the world and press the bell icon to receive a notification when a new video is released every week. Today I'm flying Lufthansa from Lisbon to Sao Paulo in Brazil with a very short connection in Frankfurt. The regional flight from Lisbon to Frankfurt is not something I have particularly high expectations for, but I hope I'm pleasantly surprised. I won't get lounge access in Frankfurt because the connection is so tight, but I will make the most of the TAP Premium Lounge in Lisbon, which is excellent. Uh, to see my more detailed thoughts on that lounge, please check out my TAP Portugal Regional Business Class review. I just hope the lounge can make me a Cap Rohingya to get me into the Brazilian spirit. They do! In fact, the cocktail bar at the TAP Lounge is as good as half the bars in the city with superb bartenders who taught me several new recipes and nailed the classics with subtle touches such as juniper berries in a gin and tonic. This bar single-handedly takes the TAP Lounge from being just an alright lounge to being one of my favourite lounges. The lounge also includes sleeping areas plus private toilets and showers and a closed press service that I missed last time. Last time I flew Lufthansa it was on their Airbus A380 and I spent most of it asleep so I didn't get to try the food and all the other offerings. This time I'm on the Boeing 7478 and I will try to stay awake a bit longer and make the most of it. Everybody knows the Boeing 747. The Boeing 747-8 is kind of the last hurrah. It's the longest passenger aircraft in the world and it first entered service in 2012 but didn't prove to be a popular choice. It was only ordered by three airlines, Lufthansa being one of them. So I'm still in Lisbon. My flight's been delayed for half an hour. Uh, originally, I only had a one hour connection in Frankfurt. So now I've lost a lot of time there. So it's going to be very interesting to see if I make my next flight. The connection in Frankfurt was extremely tight. And by the time I got to the plane, it was half boarded so usually business class passengers would board directly from the lounge but I had no time for that and used the economy class boarding instead. One of the joys of business class is usually being able to sit in the front rows but this time I'm sitting in row 88 which is of course because I'm sitting on the upper deck. There are two business class cabins on Lufthansa 747-8, one each upstairs and downstairs. The downstairs one is exactly the same as the A380 with seats in a 222 layout but the upper deck has a much more intimate 22 layout with no middle row of seats. The seats are still identical to the A380 though, which means they face inwards at an awkward angle and there's no privacy divider. The seats on the 747 also don't have the option to change seat firmness, but that's the only difference I could find. As soon as I sat down, cabin crew introduced themselves and offered me a drink. Cheers. They then asked me to move to another seat so two people could sit together. Usually I wouldn't mention that but this is the second time I've flown Lufthansa and it's the second time I've been asked to change seats and both times I agree and had a worse experience because of it. In this case I moved to the seat directly in front of me and ended up at the back of that service area where I was the last to be served for everything whereas if I'd stayed in my original seat I would have been in the first row of the next service area and been the first to be served. And since I was only one seat in front of my original, I could see and hear the guy who usurped my seat getting served before me and being served by the chief cabin attendant who was going well above and beyond in service standards. Not that the crew who were serving me were bad, but still. Actually, the service was excellent. The crew always addressed me by name and were responsive, proactive and engaging. So yes, the seats being moved thing is a first world problem and it was a petty rant by me, but I chose my seats a year in advance and was very annoyed that I agreed to move despite my better judgment. It won't happen again. Plentiful and easily accessible storage is excellent on Lufthansa seats, especially on the window seat with huge storage bins that render the overhead compartments unnecessary. The in-flight entertainment library also remains strong, the adjustable screen is useful and the uh, interface is responsive. I'd already eaten on the plane to Frankfurt as well as in the lounge at Lisbon, but promised myself that I'd review the full offering of this flight so offered for a three course meal. Even though this was a relatively late night flight, meals were served one course at a time, which was appreciated. For appetizer, I had a venison pie, which wasn't really a pie as I know it, but it was absolutely delicious, especially paired with an earning a wheat beer. The main meal was roast goose, apparently Lufthansa's Christmas specialty. Wasn't the best tasting poultry I've ever had, but it was satisfying and filled me right up. Uh, despite being full, I persevered with the cheese plate for dessert, which had a good selection of hard and soft cheeses and a delicious jam.
Then it was time to check my emails, courtesy of Lufthansa's in-flight Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi was of usable speed and I was able to check emails, the news and send photos without problem. Its cost was reasonable but don't expect to be streaming video. The upper deck on the 747-8 is incredibly quiet. Uh, quieter than the A380 I think and made for a very comfortable 6 hour sleep. The lack of direct aisle access to the window seats on Lufthansa is very annoying. It got quite awkward trying to vault over my sleeping neighbour whenever I needed the bathroom. Waking up for breakfast as the sun rises over the sky is always a lovely experience and the breakfast on Lufthansa was actually delicious. I chose the pancakes which also came with muesli, yogurt and fresh fruit. Landing in Sao Paulo took place about an hour after breakfast service. Overall this was one of the better flights of this trip so far and I look forward to flying Lufthansa again so long as they don't ask me to change seats again. The very personable service, the good lounge in Lisbon and the tasty meals as well as the smaller cabin on the upper deck made for a great way to ensure I arrived in Brazil relaxed and without jet lag though I still managed to catch a cold as you can probably hear. Uh, thanks for watching this generic travel vlog. Please make sure to like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, etc. The next flight review I have planned is Air New Zealand's business class service on the 787, so subscribe to not miss that. Happy travels.